hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so guys today we are going to be talking about the admission process and guidelines to medical university of gdansk based on popular requests fortunately the admission window for medical university of gdansk opens on the 15th of march 2024 till july 31st 2024 so you have a period of four months for all the application process and all that's related to it but first, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and give this video a thumbs up because you're going to like it. So let's get started. Okay, so let's search for the Medical University of Gdansk. We have to go to the university homepage. Um, obviously, you're not a student yet, so let's click on the Candidates tab. Right here, we have um, an overview of what um, the school offers. You know, you have something on the admission. We have the admission steps. Um, MD program, Master of Pharmacy program, Bachelor of Nursing program, Pre-Medical Course program. So first, let's talk about the admission steps. Okay, so for the admission steps, um, the first step here is, you know, the educational offer. You check out um, the university educational offer and find the right program for yourself. And then the second step is the online registration where you create an account. And then um, the final step is the qualification process where you have to, you know, upload some of your documents and, you know, await um, a response from the university admission office. Let's check out what the university offer in English. And you can find that right here, programs in English. Okay, so here they have Doctor of Medicine, six years. They have Master of Pharmacy, 5.5 years. And then they have BSc Nursing, three years. There is also information here for students that want to transfer from another university to Medical University of Gdansk. So you have the opportunity if you study medicine, pharmacy, or nursing, as it is stated on the website. So if you click on this transfer that is um, bolded, you're going to see information about what you need um, to be able to transfer to the university, depending on the department you wish to transfer to. So for more detailed questions regarding individual years, please contact the following email address right here. So which means if you need more information about the transfer programs here, you can always contact this email. I beg you in the name of God, don't contact me because I don't know anything about this. So if you need any more information, just make sure you contact this email. The same goes for transfer um, to Masters of Pharmacy. And um, the requirements also differ from that of medicine. You just have to like go through all of the requirements. Again, for more information about this, you should send an email to this address right here. For transfer into nursing, you should um, check out all of these requirements. Kindly note that for nursing, there is no possibility to transfer during the academic year and for the third year. Okay, so please make sure you note all of these things because I know some people will still come back and ask me questions like this. And if you have more um, questions or you have any extra thing to know, just make sure you send an email to this email address right here. So now that we have all of the admission steps, you know the programs that are studied in English, you can go ahead to check out the programs one by one. So I'll be starting with Bachelor of Nursing. Bachelor of Nursing, on this page, you can see curriculum, the admission criteria, the admi admission steps, required documents at the time of registration, and the score calculation. Okay, I'm going to show you something about the score calculation later on. Here you have the admission criteria for the three-year Bachelor of Nursing program. Please make sure you read through it. So at the time of registration, um, these are the required documents for Bachelor of Nursing. Um, you need the application forms in English and Polish. You need a certified high school diploma with um, records of transcripts, and it has to be legalized as well. Uh, so you also need a translation of your certificate into English. That's if you do not study in a country where the official language is English. Basically, this number four is talking about um, testimonials uh, for those that are coming from Nigeria. I don't know about other countries, but for those coming from Nigeria, this number four is talking about your testimonial. 
and then you need a certificate confirming the command of English language. That's if you do not speak English or you are not from an English speaking country. You need a photocopy of a valid passport. If the document mentioned in number 7 applies to you, then you may have to submit that as well. For persons under the age of 18 years um, before the day of registration, um, you need like consent from your parents or legal guidance and the document is attached here. You can download that during your registration and attach it or upload the document in the document page during registration. The subject requirements include biology, English, and an additional subject where we have either chemistry, physics, or mathematics. So for those that are not um, science um, students or do not have science background, as long as you have biology, English, and maybe mathematics, then you are eligible to apply. Okay, so to apply, you can apply on your own and apply through the university admission office or you contact one of these recruitment companies depending on country of origin. Okay, so if you're from Africa, you can go ahead to check the recruitment companies, like basically agents um, in Africa that can help you with the admission process. Guys, you are doing this at your own risk, okay? I'm not recommending any agents because I do not have any affiliation with them. So whatever you do with them, you do it at your own risk. Depending on your country of origin, we have for Egypt, we have for other African countries as well. Unfortunately, not all African countries are represented here, so you may have to go through some outside agents or apply on your own. Again, you are doing this at your own risk. I do not recommend any agents. For the Bachelor of Nursing program, I also get questions about if it is taught in English or not. So here, the teaching medium is English and it is just for three years, six semesters. So the number of seats available is 50. However, not everyone will make this 50 seat. It is highly competitive, okay? So remember to also note that um, the orientation week fee is 3040 and the tuition fee for the first to third year is 23,000 per year. Again, because I'm sure some people will still come back and ask, is it 23,000 zloty for the whole three years? No, it's just 23,000 zloty for one year. So you pay another 23,000 zloty for second year and another 23,000 zloty for the third year. If you have further questions, always make sure to send email to the admission office. For medical students, you can go through the requirements, the subject requirements, and the entrance exam. Here they have 50 seats as well. The tuition fee is quite different. Here, the tuition fee is 54,000 zloty per year. For nursing, it is 23,000 zloty per year. But for medicine, it is 54,000 zloty per year. Tuition fee for pharmacy is 35,000 zloty per year. Kindly note that everyone, regardless of the program, will pay 3,000 zloty for the orientation week fee. And I think that's before the tuition fee is paid. Now that we know the programs that the university offer and we know the required documents and the admission criteria, let's go ahead um, to check out the online registration. To register online, which is like the second step of registration, click on the registration online. So here you have four stages. The first stage is to register online in the candidate database. The second is to submit online the application form with all other documents. And the third stage is to submit the application form with all other documents to the university admission office or to the proper recruitment company. So the stage four happens like after the acceptance. For stage one, where you have to register in the candidates database, um, the website will be launched on the 15th of March, 2024. Under here, you just have to register a new account. Make sure you fill your email address correctly. Okay, so if you are able to submit all of your documents in stage two and... The university review your document you're going to get an email if you have to write an exam or if you have to do an interview and also for the entrance exam it can either be a written exam or an interview so for the written exam you, you can check this page for subjects that you have for the exam and you can also see you have some example questions here from previous years 
and for the interview it's going to be on zoom you have all the information here you have the topics for the oral exam right here you can always download this document as well and as for the exam dates um they are all written on this page i'm sure this is going to be updated once the w website is launched for the 2024 admission calendar okay so for the accommodation um we have three dormitories for the international students and these are the facilities that they have and this is the amount for the hostel fees you can always contact this email if you have if you have more questions however if you do not want to stay in the university um dormitory you can always check out these hostels they the websites are right there on the stage. Also got questions about the scholarships and loans. Well, not everyone is entitled to the loan and scholarships. As you can see, only students from Norway, Sweden, and Canada are entitled to loans. And only students from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are entitled to scholarship. Um, now let's talk about how your scores will be calculated. If you scroll through this page, you're going to see how scores or points for each program will be calculated depending on the study plan from your country of origin in relation to the Polish education. However, certain countries are listed here and they have specific ways of calculating the scores based on this country. Um, the only African country here is Nigeria. And for Nigeria, you can apply with your WASE or WAEK and NECO and you can always go through this page to see how your score is calculated but first you need to note that as a Nigerian you do not need any English proficiency exam because your results is already in English and you are being taught in English however you can go ahead to do an English proficiency exam if you have a very low grade in your results because right here we have just a1 to c6 for wag and a1 to b3 for neko if you have grades lower than c6 this may affect your points during the recruitment process why heck you have the rating here and then for neko you also have the rating right here for other african countries you can go ahead to click on other countries to find um, which one is applicable to your country. So that's it, guys. I hope this video is helpful. Please make sure you go through all of these pages one by one, read through all of the information, provide all of the required documents, upload them um, as required, and hopefully you will be selected as one of the students to study at Medical University of Kidansk. Remember that it can be very competitive even for the Polish citizens. So you want to come complete and correct. If you have further questions about this admission process, please make sure you send an email to the admission office, not me. Okay, I'm not the one doing the admission process. If you want other information, send an email to the admission office or to your recruitment company or agents, so to speak. So guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, share this video and leave your comments in the comment section below. And I'll see